Hello, I'm Francois from Shackmat. In this video, I will show you how the triple steeple works. The triple steeple is a triple envelope generator. It gives control on time and symmetry. It has five different modes, linear or exponential response, an assignable CV input and some other features. The triple steeple provides three different envelopes. Rather than providing control upon the attack and the decay of the envelopes, the module has a time and symmetry approach of the control of the envelopes. Time parameter is the global timing of the envelope, so attack plus decay time together. A symmetry parameter controls the ratio between the attack and the decay of the envelope. Let's trigger the third envelope of the triple steeple using a square wave coming from an Arlequin's context. On the Mordax data, you can see in blue the square wave coming from the Arlequin's context, and the other waveform is the envelope coming from the triple steeple. The envelope is in full decay mode and the time parameter changes the timing of the envelope. Symmetry parameter changes the ratio between the attack time and decay time. Note the global timing is always the same. With symmetry potentiometer at noon, I have an equal ratio between attack time and decay time. Going fully clockwise will give full attack envelopes and going back to the fully counterclockwise position, I have decay only envelope. I can change now the global timing of the envelope with the time parameter. Each channel has a dedicated CV input for the time parameter and it is also possible to control the symmetry parameter thanks to the assignable CV input. We will see that a bit later in this video. Each envelope has five different modes that you can switch using the channel button. First mode is a triggered mode when no LEDs are on, so the loop and TG which means trigger gate LEDs are off. Like earlier, we will use the Arlequin's context to ping the envelope thanks to a square wave LFO. Trigger mode means each time the gate input receives a rising edge, it will fire one cycle of the envelope. To go to the second mode, let's press on the channel button one time. It is the gated mode and the envelope is now behaving as an attack system release type of envelope. Using the symmetry potentiometer, we're changing the amount of attack and release. Third mode is a loop mode. Let's remove the signal sent at the gate input. As you can hear, the envelope is cycling. So we have a unipolar LFO. Let's play a bit with the symmetry. Each time the gate input receives a rising edge, it will restart the envelope at the beginning of its cycle. Let's go now to the fourth mode. It's called the gated loop, meaning the envelope will only cycle when the gate input receives a high gate. When the signal sent at the gate input is back to zero, the envelope instantly ends. Fifth and last mode is a clocked loop mode meaning the envelope will cycle and adapt its timing to the incoming clock signal. The time parameter acts as a clock divider. When the potentiometer is turned fully counterclockwise, it's divided by 1, and turning the potentiometer clockwise goes to higher divisions until divided by 8 when the potentiometer is fully clockwise. As we have seen on the Mordax data, we've only been using the envelopes in linear response mode. 
Let's again ping the third channel of the triple steeple with the Arlequin's context. We can now change the wave shape of the envelope into exponential mode by pressing for two seconds the channel button over here. The exponential shape LED is now on on this channel. And on the Mordax data, we can see now we have an exponential response. Let's tweak the symmetry parameter and we have a exponential attack and decay. Exponential response is pretty useful for different patches, such as making percussive sounds, for example. The triple steeple has a two pages menu which allows to assign different parameters to the ACV input or to set the level of the envelopes. Let's first create a looped envelope. Let's press one time on this button, which is now on. I can now assign different parameters to the ACV input for each channel. It's possible to assign the ACV to three different parameters. First parameter is symmetry. So, as you can see, the white LED is on. You can remind it by checking this small cheat sheet on the panel over here. Let's send the slow LFO to the ACV input. So we take channel 4 of the Alekid's context, which is a triangle LFO. As you can see, the symmetry of the envelope generated by the triple steeple is now changing. In symmetry assignation mode, the ACV input is a bipolar CV input. Let's now check the second assignation mode, which is the VCA assignation mode. In this case, ACV input is unipolar, only reacts to positive voltage, and we're controlling now the amplitude of the generated envelope. Third mode is the accent mode. Accent mode means each time an envelope begins its cycle, is received into the gate input, the envelope will go to its max level, which is 8 volts. In order to have the accent mode working, we have to check the next menu, which is the level menu. So, for each channel, you can configure the envelope at four different amplitudes. Let's remove first the assignation. So, like we said, you can choose four different levels. Zero volt, which can be convenient in some cases with the accent mode. 3 volts, 5 volts, and 8 volts. So let's choose 3 volt for example, and let's go back to the menu of the assignation of the CV input, and let's set the input in accent mode. So as you can hear and see on the Mordax data, each time I get is received, the envelopes go to its full level, which is 8 volt. Accent mode is a very powerful tool in order to create percussive patches with more dynamic results. Note, each channel can be configured at a different level and can be set to a different assignation of the CV input. The triple steeple has different normalization. First is the input normalization, meaning channel 2 and 3 received by default when no cable is inserted, the really state of the previous channel, meaning for example, when the first channel is doing its release, it will provide a high gate signal to the input of the second channel. So a certain channel can automatically trigger gate or clock the next channel. Let's check what's going on on the Mordax data screen. What you see over here is a square wave coming from the Arlequin's context and triple steeple channel 1, 2 and 3. Let's freeze the screen of the Mordax data. Channel 1 of the triple steeple is triggered by the Arlequins, as you can see. Channel 2 is triggered when channel 1 is beginning its 
release phase and channel 3 is also triggered when channel 2 is beginning its release phase. This feature can lead to a lot of different applications, so this one is called the cascading envelopes. But let's, for example, switch all the channels into the clocked loop mode. Let's speed up a bit the incoming square wave. What do we have over here? We have the channel 1 providing an LFO based on the division of the incoming clock signal. Channel 2 is a division of the channel 1 LFO and channel 3 a division of the channel 2 LFO. We are actually cascading different clocked LFO. Let's change the division of the first channel and we see channel 2 and therefore channel 3 timing are also changing. The triple steeple also provides output normalization. Output 3 is by default providing the maximum value of the three envelopes. When inserting a patch cable into output 1 or 2, it removes the corresponding envelope from the third output. So right now output 3 is providing the maximum value of the three envelopes. Let's insert patch cable into the first output and output 3 will give the maximum between envelope 2 and 3. Likewise I'm inserting a patch cable on output 2 and output 3 will only give the third envelope. Let's show an application of this feature. So I just created a small patch over here. The three envelopes are in trigger mode. Output normalization gives great results when each envelope has a different level. Here I have 3V on channel 3, 5V on channel 2 and 8V on channel 1. The clock upon is triggering channel 3 and also clocking a night gallop. The night gallop is triggering the triple steeple channel 1 and 2 gate inputs. Night gallop right now is muted. So as you can see we have a low level envelope coming from the third output. Channel 1 is set as a full attack envelope as channel 2 is set as a full decay envelope acting like an accent. You can see and hear the kind of results this output normalization provides. Let's change the envelopes level. This feature leads to a lot of different applications. Check out our user manual in the patch ID section to check what can be done also with this output normalization. It is possible to store the current state of the triple steeple. This means each channel will store its mode. linear or exponential wave shape, assignable CV assignation, and last but not least, the different levels. Press the ACV button for a couple of seconds. All the LEDs just blink to confirm the current state storing. Let's turn off an on or modular system. And as you can see, the current state is back. That's all for today. Thanks for watching this video. See you soon. Bye bye.